our first demonstration is going to show you how to combine two separate files together, a video and an audio file. So one file has video only, no audio. The other file has audio only, no video. At first glance, you think you'd want to choose merge, but merge uh, is pretty much the opposite. It just appends, uh, actually appends one file after another. So there's a couple ways to get our files into our work area. We can either drop the media in here, so that would mean I'd go out to File Explorer, grab the file, and drag it in. Or I can simply do Add Files, grab the file, and bring it in. Okay, so you can see that this file, um, it's, a, it's an MP4 file. What you want to make sure is that your container, if you just want to do a straight copy, you don't want to change anything, you just want to bring the files together, make sure that this is also set to the same container that uh, of the original file uh, because it'll default to what you used in your last project. Okay, And uh, you can see there's no audio, no subtitles. I can go to detailed information and sure enough, let's bring this to the center, you can see I have a video section but I do not have an audio section. So you would think that you'd go to add files and then drag the audio in or grab it, uh, or excuse me, add the audio file to your work area. That's exactly what you do not want to do. What you want to do is come up over here and you want to choose add audio. And so you can see it added an audio here and then we're going to do edit. And what we want is an external file. You can see there's nothing selected here. So this particular audio file is an M4A format. So I'm going to click Open. And you can see it would list all the streams, all the tracks that are embedded within this audio file. And I only have one. So the, the only thing I want to do right now is pass through. Choose that because I don't want to change the quality or the type of audio. I just want to uh, stream it. I just want to you know, copy it straight into the video file. So we're going to go ahead and choose the X there to X doesn't abort it actually saves the changes um, and then on a video file something I forget to do once in a while is go to, to edit and once again because I just want to do a pure copy I want to choose pass through okay so it won't change anything alrighty um, and then if you wanted to add another audio track you could do that over here as well um, yeah you've got to add filters this is a uh, kind of a cool option here. So let's do add video filter. Something you may want to do commonly is to rotate a video. Uh, maybe it's from a camera phone or something and it's upside down. So you can go into rotate and it added rotate right here and I can choose edit. And then I can do flip horizontally, uh, flip vertically. I can actually turn it. And so really easy, just a couple little options. There's some other options embedded here in general and advanced. So if we go into general, and choose edit. Um, one I like to use quite often is finish encoding when the shortest input stream ends and so there that one is. Um, we can also go into advanced options and uh, you know every time I select a different item in a drop down list then I get a different set of options related uh, to what we chose over here and so you know there's just a wealth of options to choose from here. Okay so we're just going to uh, save that for another tutorial. At this point we're actually all set to go. So all I have to do is click start. And so we'll go ahead and click start. And what did I do here? I left rotate on here. So let's see what happens. So I didn't do anything because I didn't change. I didn't choose any of the filters in rotate. But you can hear the sound now. I was designed to save the world. Stop that. We don't want to get into any potential copyright infringements. Okay. So um, what I should have done is actually remove the rotate, but it didn't matter at this point because if you see that we didn't choose any options. Okay. So if I wanted, I could actually go through and redo this very simply by clicking on uh, the X over here to remove the rotate filter and then just restart and it would save all of my other settings and go off and redo the file. So I don't have to bring everything back into the project. The next thing we'll demonstrate is how to um, manipulate some of the audio tracks already embedded in a uh, file. So let's go ahead and remove this. So I'm just going to right click and choose remove. Okay. 
and then we'll click on Add Files, and let's grab this one and bring it in. Alrighty, and you can see this one tells you right away that, that there's definitely at least one audio track, and uh, we've got a bunch of subtitles over here. If I click on Detailed Information, bring this over, you can see there's my video track section. My first audio track is listed here. Um, DTS um, 7.1 it looks like and then I've got another audio track here and so I've got three different audio tracks some subtitles and some uh, uh, chapters so what we could do over here is we go over here and I'll notice it, it's defaulting to what we chose last time so I'm going to click edit and there's my three different streams so I can say you know let's do this first stream here sure we'll go ahead and grab that once again I just want a straight copy I don't want to change anything other than the order of the streams maybe or which streams are going to be included maybe I don't want the other two streams so we'll choose pass through and then we're going to do add audio again and we'll choose edit and this time let's just choose stream number three how's that okay and it's set to defaults to pass through Alrighty, and if we look up over here, it says MP4. Well, this file was actually an MKV file. So let's change this, because once again, I don't want to change the file at all other than moving around the audio tracks or changing the type of audio. So I want to keep the container the same. So always make sure you confirm that, because it defaults to what was in your last project. And I think over here, because I changed that, you can see in audio, it got rid of my other audio track. So let's go ahead and um, change this back to pass through and do add audio again. And we'll do edit and we'll choose number three and it's set to pass through. So I had to recheck, um, reselect the audio tracks be once I changed the uh, container. And so at this point, uh, we're all set to go. We can go ahead and click start and it would process the file and eliminate the second audio, original audio track embedded in the file. Thanks for watching.